inside our presentation, we have our main point, of course. And our main point is something to help the audience understand at the very beginning, to understand in the middle, to understand in the end, to remember when they leave. That's the main point. But to make that main point is not enough. We need to support that main point. So we need to explain that main point or give more facts or more information about the main point. So our presentation really needs to have a beginning and then it goes all the way down to an end. And that we call a system. So a system is a way to present your information in a way that the audience can follow. The presentation's main point must be clearly supported and explained. So basically at the beginning, we're going to be giving our main point and then we're going to be trying to support and explain it throughout our presentation. How do you do that? That's called the system. A system is an easy way to follow what the goal of the presentation is. A system that is easy to follow is the goal. Now that means, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say when you make a presentation, you want to make the system in a way that helps the audience easily understand your supporting information for your main point. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. So the system is a way to guide the audience to follow your main point's supporting ideas or evidence. It's like a road map showing you how to get from home to school, for example. A system for your presentation lets the audience know the way from the start to the end. It's how to get from the beginning, which is the main point, to the end, which again is the main point, but it's the way to support it, to convince them so that they feel, yes, this main point makes sense. This main point is true. These findings are valid. This information is important. This company really does have this interesting product. So that's the way that the system functions. It's a way to bring the audience along with you to help them follow you like a roadmap. Now remember, we're still in the planning stage. So while you're still planning your presentation, you really need to think about what is your system going to be. Now, this sounds like, well, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just make your slides and your slides are your system? Well, not really, because you need to have your system first. What is it you're going to use? Are you going to use time? Are you going to use methodology? Are you going to use like product by product? Are you going to use um, market category, consumer characteristics? How is it you're going to divide up your presentation? What system are you going to use? Then you put the information into it, you make your slides to match. So I think it's wrong just to think, hey, we just make a bunch of slides. That's not the way to do it. A system is hard to create after a presentation is already complete. So if you already made your slides, it's going to be very hard to go back and then change your slides to fit your presentation system. In fact, you probably won't do that at all. You'll just have many, many slides. And that's pretty normal for bad presentations, just lots and lots of slides. What we need to do is have a system. A key idea to remember is that a presentation is not just a list of facts, not just a repetition of information, not just a few slides. It's more than that. Any good presentation not only includes those things, but also has a system that brings all those things together to make a clear statement. And that helps the audience stay interested. That's the main goal here. We want the audience to stay interested. We want them to follow us on this path, on this road. So we need to give them a map to follow. Just giving a list of fact A and B and C and D, that is not a system. That's just a list. So we need to come up with a system. So 
You need to think of your system early, before you get all your facts together, before all of your information is listed out, before you make your slides. After you have your system, like a roadmap, you are now ready to search for supporting information that fits into your system. So we have our main point, and then we're going to come up with a system of how we're going to present this main point. And then you can find all of your small information, all your facts that support this main point. And then you can make your slides to match that main point and the supporting ideas. So how do you create a system? It's easy to say, but it's not easy to do. You need planning, first of all. So planning means you have to have a clear structure and a sense of timing. Your presentation should not go super, super slow and list many, many, many facts. That's going to be way too boring for everyone. You need to have a system that has a kind of timing to it, that makes people feel interested, that speeds things along. You need to have an organization. And the organization means that each of the points link to each other to help support the overall main point. So you need to have clear connections between the different parts of your presentation. Of course, you need to have lots of information in your presentation. The information needs to be interesting and relevant to the audience. And remember, we talked about the audience already. If the audience is inside your company, outside the company, above you, below you, they may know different things. You need to design your presentation in a way that they can understand it, that they can feel comfortable. And you need to have impact. That means you need to have a feeling of a strong purpose or a core point that is the start and the end of your presentation, really the main point. We keep coming back to this main point over and over again because this main point is the real thing that grabs your audience, that pulls them in, that keeps them interested. So you really need to focus on making that clear and relevant and powerful impact.